All right, boys. Um, so Aizawa is a character in this game, and you can get him for free now. Free with a big, 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 massive, huge asterisk because uh, I think it's in here. This no, no, no. It's in yes. So I almost have him there. Wait, upgrade six heroes to level eighty. Ha! Wait. I have two at 80, I have him at 80, and I have Bakugo at 80. What do you mean? Um, I'm, I'm gonna assume they're both kind of heroes. Even he, I know he's not a class A student, but he, it just had heroes, so... Um, oh, well, I'm gonna have to talk to the support about that one. Anyway, so... Hmm, weird. Okay, so, um, let me go back. So obviously, the before I show you the like before I play with him because you can play with him already. Um, he, the big issue is upgrade a class A hero to rank SS. If you don't spend money, that's pretty difficult. If you spend money, Ultra Code, uh, getting Ultra Code to SS is pretty you know pretty easy. Um, but if you don't spend money, it's difficult. Now the other thing that's a lot more difficult is this thing, the level 80 thing. So as you can see, supply. Um, I have done all my runs for today. I am at 0 out of 20. And, well, you know, uh, I only had two level 80 characters. And, like, my whole, like, I didn't level up anyone else with all them, all those mats. And I had mats from before as well. So, 20 runs. Let's say 20, let's say 30 runs. Because I, I, I had stuff from, like, yesterday as well. Let's say 30 runs. In 30 runs, I managed to get two characters level 80. You can only do 20 a day. You have to get 6 to 80. So let's say even, like, let's say you can get one and a half, right? For six characters, that's four days. Four days. So as soon as you hit that threshold, as, as soon as you hit level 39, when you can actually start getting level 80 characters, you have four days to get it, right? And I have, like, a week left. Well, a little more than a week, right? I have, like, nine days left. But for the free to for like, the average free-to-play player that can't, like, max refill stamina and everything, that's difficult. And that's... that's pretty tough i think if you're free to play you can do it because i like i was free to play up on like for the most part up until just like two days ago um and i think i could have gotten it regardless the only thing i was struggling with i think was the ss character um but the level 80 stuff is definitely possible but again then you have the level eight, like the the ss character barrier right but uh, you're here for aizawa gameplay so let me play with aizawa you can play with him if you're rank i think it's 40 or like you get it's 40 or like close to 40, okay? It's either 39 or 40. You get to play this quest. And in this quest, you get to play as Aizawa. Now, I, when I did this, I just mashed. I didn't really pay attention. Let me turn up the game a little bit. Um, you're pretty much just at the like a little like school event they had when like, all the villains attacked. You play as Aizawa. Boom. So this is Aizawa. Let's see what he... Let's, so, all right, okay. He goes invisible sometimes too, by the way. Uh, so he has multiple skills. They change when you do stuff. I don't fully understand how yet, but if I dash... Oh, that's not the dash yet. Okay, but... That's his normal attack strength. Bop. He looks like he's straight out of Naruto. Um, he kind of looks... His, this stuff looks like it's Deku stuff. But I mean, he's just quick, right? So it's fair. Cool. Right. Now his... Um, his Q... He gets out a knife. You can switch between knife and stealth phase, right? I think now... Yeah, my normal attack string is different. So I have this, and this looks so annoying to deal with in PvP. Someone doing this. The first hit of it drags you to him. If I hit it. Bah, it drags you to him, right? That's just my normal attack that I'm doing. Right? Um, and then his W, he throws shuriken on the ground. And those shuriken stay on the ground if they walk over it. Right? Or if I drag them to it. They take damage. Good damage. Right? And his E, I'm pretty sure, just drags people to you as well, but from a longer range. Oh yeah, and that does all that. Right? So if I do this, uh, this W is just a, like a regular W. I want to see if I can get one of the special ones. So, where it just changes mid combo. Like, you can see how it changes? Hold on. I think it's just this E, though. So if I do this E, this E is just pure damage, I guess. I wish we could actually get his skills up, maybe. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We have it. Okay, so he has, he has, um, you can, yeah, you can switch between combat styles. And you have your little bar at the bottom that also tells you what it is. Your Q is sneak, reposition. Uh, it's just your regular uh, thing, right? You can check your current style on the skill mechanic. Uh, yeah. So it, it tells you what you're on, right? This is just base. This is a counter stance. This is a thing when you have your um, knife out. And then this is without the knife out. 
Or this is both, I guess. So I think because I'm full, I can enter this one now. So now I do... No, this is just the, the regular one, right? And then when you switch, boom, I have my knife out now. And this one is the big damage one. This is the one that's going to be annoying to deal with in PvP. Especially with these spikes. And then this. This move is also really stupid. And his special... His special is very interesting. He does this. And now I can just choose where I drop. So I'm like, oh, I don't like this guy? Bah. And in PvP, I can... I can it did... You see you saw how much damage that did. Now I don't know how like strong it is and everything. But that did a lot of damage. I'm gonna hop in again because I want to see more, right? But that did a lot of damage. And the reason why I think this is like, super super broken, like obviously like just going in the air and then just getting a free attack on your opponent is, is pretty broken. Um although I think Karisha I could probably just spam counter while he, like you're doing it or like react to it, maybe. I don't know, because I haven't faced it. But um I think you can maybe counteract it, maybe dodge in time if you do it, because you have the invincibility when you do it. Um, but the main issue I think with that one is like characters like Ochako or like um, Tokoyami even, right? Like you could or like even Kirishima, like he, let's say you get to counter, right? Let's say you hit him, he gets to counter. Oh well, oh, oh. So it's not like okay. So you have to, you probably have to be in that ambush mode um, if you want to get that special. He's also a speed type character. I mean, obviously, right? Um, okay, so you probably have to be in that one. Does it tell you on this one? It does. Okay. In Q, in Sneak Style, your next WE skills and Bind Come will teleport you behind the enemy. I see. In Q Counter Style, when you hit by when you're hit when you got hit by an attack, you can use Bind Combo to dodge away and counter attack. No way. Hold on. Um there we go, hold on. Hit me. Wait, I need to be visible again. Hit me. I need to see if this is true. I mean, I, 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 really, I didn't really see anything happening there. Um, I have to be in this style, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me just check again, just in case. In Q counter, this is where the one with a sword out and you have this ability open. This is the one I'm in. When you get hit by an attack, you can use, maybe it doesn't work on these weak attacks. Maybe you have to get by like a proper attack. In Q amber style, to, the bind combo will become a special six hit, uh, attack with a skill. Yeah, 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 okay. That's the one with the, the, the really strong one I said. And depending on the dist- ah, that's the distance that changes it, okay. Um, okay, that's cool. Alright. And then erase it to instantly remove the attack of nearby enemies. So what, their attack just doesn't work. Interesting. That's all broken. And then when the skill mechanism bar is full, you can use erasure to rise in the air and lock down- Ah, oh, okay, when it's full- there- okay. Yeah, and this is just absolutely insane. Because I don't think there's much counterplay to it. One DA you can move the joysticks to like your landing area before binding and killing the enemies in the area of bind combo. So it's AOE as well, it's not just single target, okay. Okay, well I thought he was gonna hit me, but he didn't. Um There we go, yo my guy. Oh There you go, hit me now. Yeah, not you. Okay, well I think Wait No, I think that was it. He just dodged automatically. I don't think you have to press it. Let's see. It's projectiles. I think you have to get hit by like a proper like melee hit. Hold on. You hit me normally. I think I'll just go spawn the boss. There we go. Uh, let me just spawn the boss. Bob. Bob. The fact that he drags you to him with his normal attack string is so stupid. Like, oh yeah, no, you don't get to play the game. Nah, it's it's it, it, that's stupid. Oh well, he missed. And then this, there's so much. Like, did there, there's gonna be people in PP that just match this. Because it, it auto aims, like, auto homes in on the enemy. Right, like, I'm not do, I'm just doing this. And this would probably work in PvP, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but let's see, these these definitely hit me, right? Okay, so I don't, I, oh wait, I'm the wrong one now. Uh, this one. There you go, alright, cool, now hit me. I right, get up, come on. Oh yeah, no, so I automatically dodge, yeah, and then it switches me out into a different sense. That's silly, because you can always just go back to this, and then you're invisible as well. Okay, I see why he's a problem. Because now, look, look, he's going to hit me, I'm not going to lose health, I'm just going to dodge. Okay, well, not in this one, I guess. It has to be a direct attack. Yeah, boom. And then, and then my, my... No, that's stupid, hold on. And then when I hit, I switch... Oh. Come on. Come on, Alright, well, not in this one. But, um... Sick. 
Yeah. Let's see. Bah. No, that's actually stupid. Ah, that's so stupid. That's that's gonna be so dumb. Let's see his ultimate. Oh, he. Oh, I think he just actually grabs every enemy like around him. Um. So obviously, I think I I can't tell if the gauge is filled, right? But I want to use a special again. Let's do it. It is filled. Okay, sick. And now it's like he can't do anything. Um. Oh, how long can I stay in this for? Oh, okay, for a while. And then you just kill. Interesting. This character definitely is broken. I can see why people said that he's going to ruin PvP. You have him all might on your team. I don't think it's going to be uh, difficult to win. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be really annoying to face this thing as well. So I'm, I'm curious if what type of counter uh, teams or counter units we can come up with for that thing. I think Ida is actually going to be good against him. I think Ida in general is just broken though. Uh, all Might is going to be good against him, I think. People call him the All Might killer, but I think All Might can just unga banga his way through the Aizawa. But Aizawa looks absolutely broken. Um, yeah, well, but that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, ciao.